All right, good evening. Uh, this is Tuesday, October 22nd, 6 o'clock. Uh, Town of Auburn Board of Health uh, will call the meeting to order. Uh, looking through the agenda here, um, reorganization of the board, I think we'll uh, withhold that one. We'll have to pass that one on again because we're not all here. Um, review of the agenda, add or remove any items. I know looking at the agenda, it appears to be a little light. We do have a hearing, which we will certainly do the hearing in a brief discussion. But as far as director items, I think that um, the majority of that stuff is, do we need to delete anything from that or? Uh, no, they're, they're all quick. Okay. All right. So I think it's, uh, we now just passed 6.05. Um, I think like to, um, Move on to uh, the hearing now that we have scheduled at 6.05, the septic LUA request. I have a motion to uh, open the hearing. I would like to make a motion to open the hearing for the um, septic LUA request at Six Pondville Court. All right, now I will second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Hearing is now open. So this... This is a um, septic uh, design, um, and uh, we have a septic repair at Six Pondville Court. Um, so there is an existing house, an existing septic system, um, and the uh, uh, repair design um, is before you. Um, it is a Presby uh, type system, and the um, engineer has requested um, Two uh, requests. There's a waiver to the Town of Auburn regulation for the design plus one bedroom um, due to uh, the size of the lot and the uh, location of where the system is. And then there's also a, um, a request for um, the offset to groundwater instead of the four feet to seasonal high in groundwater. Um, there's a two foot offset with the use of the uh, Presby approval system. So these are um, uh, these are requests that have um, that we have seen before um, for septic repairs. Um, the uh, system for the two foot offset is allowed through the Presby type approval through DEP. Um, so that is something that uh, we have done before. Um, it, uh, it helps uh, in the design um, of the system and how much it's going to come up out of the ground. Um, and then uh, we also have um, considered waivers to the um, local town regulation uh, with system repairs. Um, Typically, that's not something that um, we're flexible with any new construction, but um, in the past, the board has considered um, that request as well. Mm -hmm. would, you what would your recommendation be? Would that be this, this fits within its own? Oh, oh, Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Right. So I think hearing that, I'd entertain a motion mm -hmm. to uh, approve the, uh, the waiver. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to make a motion to approve the waiver for the septic LUA request at Sick Court. Okay. And I second. As presented. As presented. As presented. As presented. Mm -hmm. And I will second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Um, that is approved. Okay. Right. Great. Thank you very much. Any more discussion on that? No? No. Okay. Um, okay. I second that. And all those in favor? Aye. The hearing is now closed. Um, 610, a quick discussion on the tobacco regulation. Sure. Was that in, in the news, of course, with, with mm -hmm. that. Yeah, so there's um, obviously a lot, um, a lot going on at the, um, at the state level, and we wanted to um, take that into consideration um, with uh, so much going on with the um, uh, orders that were recently um, issued by the governor. Um, and Eileen has um, gone through, uh, as we discussed last time with the tobacco regulation, um, we have a model reg that we have um, taken a look at what the um, options are, and the board had um, suggested that we um, go through and see what um, what would make sense uh, for our town. Mm -hmm. So we actually have a... Um, I think you have in your packets, you have um, basically the, the checklist of things that we looked at. Um, we took a look, and um, Eileen, do you want to um, uh, just um, review quickly on 
some of the things that we thought might make sense and see the yes. board. After the last month's meeting, um, you had asked us to go through and, and kind of highlight ones that um, we really recommend, and although that doesn't mean that you can't look at the other ones. Mm -hmm. On the left-hand side, I checked off the items that were already in our current regulation, mm -hmm. and one that was mandated by the state already, the age one. Okay. The circles are ones that Darlene and I have been kind of reviewing, going over for a couple years now. Mm -hmm. um, to look at to see if we would like to add them to our regulation. Mm -hmm. um, minimum size cigar packaging, that's uh, when you go in and they have two cigars for 99 cents, it's really appealing to the children that mm -hmm. can't afford a $10 pack of cigarettes. Mm -hmm. And um, it is mainly their kind of cigarellos, the blues, the flavored ones, um, and they sell them really cheap. The, when the ones that are sales to minors were the two for a dollar forty nine, yes. and you get two packages, and there's four, two in each package. So that that's what that means by um, including cigar package sizing and pricing. And the pricing point is, if they have a school lunch for a dollar for dollar fifty for their school lunch, three dollars, and they can take it and buy something that's um, you know driven. To, towards youth, then that's what they're doing. So um, that, we've thought about it for a long time, but um, that's something that we would like Thank to you. see in our next reg. Um, the fine ones are, are kind of self-explanatory. Restricting flavor, um, you know, that's being looked at right now by the state, and we're, we're not sure where they're going to come up on that, but. Um, it's something we're interested in if it's not part of what the state does. Um, blunt wraps are actually most commonly used for marijuana. Mm -hmm. However, the wrap itself is made with nicotine. So it's not like a zigzag paper, it's actually called a blunt wrap and it's derived from tobacco leaves and still has some traces of nicotine in it. Um, we do uh, ban distribution of tobacco, but we don't have the coupon portion of it in there, so we would like to update to that. Um, out of package seals, based on this is for, because of the high cost of cigarettes, they now are dismantling a pack of cigarettes and selling one cigarette for $2. Um, it, we haven't seen it. I've not seen it in any inspections, but I have heard it discussed at meetings. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to make sure that if someone tried to do that as a part of their operation, mm -hmm. that they weren't allowed. Mm -hmm. um, we be in self-service displays. Mm -hmm. We be in vending machines already. Um, roll your own machines for commercial. It's when someone has one on their counter and they actually will roll a cigarette from a bag of tobacco. Again, being able to sell you one or two cigarettes. Um, we, we've seen it in one store, but um, it's not prevalent in all of our stores. Um, Health care and education institutions, I don't know of any right now that are selling tobacco products. Um, we don't have a college in town, but there, there are still some colleges that have stores that sell tobacco. Um, the other items we have, however, I underlined for you what we're currently at, because I'm not sure if you wanted to go up to anything else that differs from what we have, but is what the state may have. In any of the ones that I didn't hit upon, um, I just thought that you as a board may want to look at it and see if you want more information. So the next time um, we meet, the ones that we're considering, then I'll bring the detail behind it to what, you know, may be an option that we might want to choose um, that goes along with it. Well, yeah. Of the That's ones awesome. that, um, that we have, do you, um, do you see any um, issues with those? Are you no. comfortable with mm -hmm. kind of that direction? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's um, some other, um, you know, anything that comes within feet of something else, we kind of need um, some assistance on that for doing circles. Like there was a limit, um, they'd like to limit <coughs> establishments from within 500 feet of schools. 
um, we would need the circumference to see a how many establishments do we already have within 500 feet of schools and b daycare centers are considered schools so we would have to consider home daycare as well and we did get a lot of this information when we were doing the marijuana circumferences so if we wanted to consider something like that then we would um, you know kind of have to do up some graphs and and do some work to find out what we already have existing and what would that mean for grandfathering of those establishments. Mm -hmm. I think what you put together here looks, looks very good. Then um, I think there also is one for caps, um, on caps and limits on how many permits we issue. Not sure how many um, towns already do that, but we can find out. Um, because essentially you'd have, um, you know, I think we're at about 25 to mm -hmm. 27 permits, mm -hmm. tobacco permits. If you wanted to cap it at that or say you cap it at 30 or no cap at all. Um, so kind of have to think about if that's something you want. Um, we're, we'd probably like to see what other towns are doing okay. on that yeah. and what the benefit of it is, yeah. you know, because okay. essentially, you know, it drives business as well. Right. Right. Okay, so we will, um, yeah. we'll start working in this direction. Yeah, yeah. No, I think that's a great start. And then we'll, um, we'll obviously see what's happening, you know, present day. I think there's going to be a lot that's happening at the state level. So. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Great. Thank so you. On the agenda, much. we have some uh, directors' yeah. items. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so for the, um, uh, I wanted to let you know we have <coughs> some assistance from the AG um, for some of uh, the housing issues that we have in town. Um, Eileen and Jordan were able to um, to go out with the AG um, recently, um, and they were here. <clears throat> within the past couple of weeks, so we're working steadily on that. Um, animal control, just again, we're getting towards the end of the year. Some people haven't licensed their dogs already. Um, those uh, that haven't um, gotten a license um, are facing fines if they don't license, so we just wanted to let people know um, to uh, get their licenses. Um, Tobacco control, um, obviously we just touched upon the, uh, the regulation. And then um, solid waste, we have um, uh, the single use plastic bag reduction bylaw was approved by town meeting. Mm -hmm. um, so that is, um, that is uh, going to be sent to the AG's office um, for review as with everything for town meeting. And um, if all goes well and um, they uh, support um, the, uh, the vote, then our office will be um, connecting with uh, businesses mm -hmm. um, for what the next steps are. <clears throat> so more to come on that. Mm -hmm. Um, yard waste, um, the yard waste dates are starting next week. Um, so the pickup, uh, we're doing similar to what we did in the springtime, um, which worked out uh, pretty well and uh, cut down on a lot of um, misses and uh, complaints. So we feel like we'd like to move in that direction again for the fall. So um, the yard waste pickup will be four consecutive weeks mm -hmm. starting next week. So whatever your trash day is, that's the day that your yard waste will get picked up. So you put your uh, yard waste out on the on your uh, trash day. Um, we have uh, reminders going out to um, the residents. Actually, I think we went we sent out one today um, on the town website and social media. Um, and uh, and so we just wanted to let you know about that. Um, the Central Mass Mosquito Control. Um, we are almost at a hard frost. We've had a couple of um, near misses uh, getting in the 30s. It's getting colder at night, but I don't think we've had um, uh, a real hard frost. So the threat is still there. Um, the order is still in place. Um, no, no town activities um, past six o'clock uh, for any of the um, uh, anything that's outside and making sure people are protecting themselves. Um, emergency preparedness update. Um, Eileen has been working um, pretty steadily 
<clears throat> on a, uh, a drill um, that we are going to be doing at our senior flu clinic um, this Friday. So we're actually going to combine our senior clinic, um, which is actually another notification. So um, this Friday from 10 to 12 at the Auburn Senior Center, um, it's our uh, senior clinic. Um, it's the first clinic that we do every year um, for the seniors, and um, uh, we will be at um, the Senior Center uh, bright and early. Um, Eileen, do you want to talk about what, um, what our requirements are for this uh, emergency preparedness drill? Um, this is on a smaller scale. Um, our major EDS site is the high school. I think you know that. But we um, actually made the senior center a smaller um, EDS site so that we could conduct these drills. If we had an emergency, it's near the housing. Um, it would be a great place to um, be able to service the people that live in the housing and the elderly that can't go far up there. So the state will actually come in and review our setup. Um, the processes that we go, they'll time us how long it's going to take us to set up, how efficiently we can get the people through, what our protocol would be based on this is an oculation EDS site um, drill, and um, how the town is prepared for something like that. So. Um, you have to have a certain amount of people from our call down list. Me and Darlene, Jordan will suffice. Um, everyone else doesn't need to go. We have to include MRC people, and then the state will come in. After that, they do a full survey um, that we go through, ask us questions, how we came about to why we wanted to do it there, how we did it, um, did we meet the timelines, did we do the proper signage. We've been through the drills. We've been through this smaller drill, um, a little smaller last year it's a little larger and we've been through a couple larger um, drills over at the high school so I feel like we're really prepared I feel like we're ready um, but it's always good to kind of put the things in motion that we sit at meetings and talk about and hope we never have to utilize this um, but it keeps us abreast at what you know we could improve on um, or you know how well we're doing so. okay. very good and kind of just one of the reasons that we want to do a drill there is because we do clinics there yeah. often, so it makes sense. <clears throat> um, office update, I wanted to let you know we do have a, um, uh, a new clerk uh, that started in the uh, department, so we're pretty excited about it. Um, so she, um, she will be um, uh, training um, over the next several weeks to uh, get up to speed. Excellent. And for communicable disease, we have a report from the nurse. Hey, I saw today there was a uh, positive exposure for TB at South High School oh. recently. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah she, um, uh, she, there is quite a, a bit of follow-up for those cases. Oh, yeah. So, yep. yeah. One of my coworkers' daughter had positive influenza. So. Oh, jeez. Already? Already. Yeah. yeah, I think it's going to be a tough season. <clears throat> so we um, we also so we have this clinic um, uh, scheduled, and then we will have a um, a public clinic to follow. Mm -hmm. um, we obviously take care of the seniors first. <clears throat> Um, and the um, the inspections um, we can uh, can give you an update for next uh, next time. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Okay. okay. And um, for uh, from November, um, you comfortable with uh, Paula sending out um, a couple of dates to yes. see if that, yeah, works? that works? Okay. As yep. well. Yeah. I think so. Any, Sounds good. Any questions? No, no, I think that's okay. good. Excellent. Um, hearing, seeing none, I entertain a motion to adjourn. I make motion to adjourn tonight's meeting. Second, and all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you.